Hey guys, I wanted to take a second to uh, look at this uh, body cam footage from the uh, Fort Worth OIS the other day where the uh, officer shot the woman in her home. Now, from what I've read and what I can understand, um, they were dispatched to this home uh, in part because of a, uh, a call from a neighbor who was requesting a welfare check. The neighbor noticed that the door to the home was open uh, or slightly open and that there were lights on. So, you know, what's your mindset going into this as the responding officer? You've got a door open. It's 2.30 in the morning or thereabouts. Um, you know, what are you going to find? How do you how do you prep yourself for when you get there? Where are you going to park? All these things are going through your mind. Now, I haven't seen this video yet, so we're going to watch it together for the first time and see what we see. All right, let's go back and look at this one more time and kind of see what we can see here. And according to, uh, all right, complaint advised front doors uh, to address is open. Both of neighbor's vehicles are in driveway, white sand, dark color stand. Neighbors are usually home, but never has door open. They must have been playing bumper tag to get there that close to each other. All right, back up just a touch here. You look in. I mean, I can't tell if, you don't know if the house is always like that, stuff on the floor. Did somebody come in and make a mess? Did, you know, is the house always like that? Was that a result of somebody you know, breaking into the house? I mean, I can't tell if that's trash or toys or, or what, but, you know, you don't know that because it's not your house. All you know is there's a door open and the neighbors say that that's not normal. I don't know what that was. Mm -hmm. I liked your partner there, Bub. Put your hands up! Show me your hands! Up. All right, that. Put your hands up, show me your hands up. So they located a gun inside the house and did the 
did the homeowner homeowner have possession of the gun when this happened have no idea i mean all we know is what we're looking at here um was there an opportunity to knock and announce yeah but are you rolling up on somebody that came home late and forgot to close their door and it's the homeowner that's inside or are you rolling up on let's say a home invasion or a burglary um so do you do you knock and announce sheriff's office police department whatever and alert the the bad guys inside that that they're that you're there um man this is this is tough we just had a we just had a very similar incident here in south carolina and we covered that video a while back i'll link it up at the end of this one it's uh that one was a perfect storm of just bad luck uh, but that that's a different situation um I've, I've since learned today that this officer uh resigned and apparently the chief said he would have been fired for violations of policy uh their use of force policy de-escalation policy and so on i don't i'm not familiar with fort worth policy so i couldn't tell you uh we'll just assume that he was in violation of those policies i'm uh I'm conflicted though on you know whether or not this was a knock and announce situation if you've got limited information coming from dispatch or coming or coming from the complainant the complainant's just telling you know your call taker that you know this resident usually has their doors closed and their lights off at this time and and this is unusual so you get there and you see that the doors in fact are open not just one but a couple and the lights are on and just from looking at the inside of the house um you see some stuff on the floor now you can't get a good i can't get a good idea of what what that was or is that the is that the natural state of the house i have no way to know that um was stuff getting knocked over in a struggle was uh, or is this just the way the house always looks i've got i've got no idea and as, an, as a responding officer you've got no way to know that um the the shining the light through the window i mean it looks like he he saw movement hit the light um maybe he saw a gun the and and that's why they're highlighting the the gun here that was found inside the residence it's a tough it's a it's a tough call to make man it's hard to say all right man you screwed this up or you screwed that up and you know my policy on on armchair quarterbacking i, I don't like to do it because we're only getting this uh to go off of so it, it, it's kind of a kind of a myopic view of of a greater situation you're only getting to see this much of of a lot of different things and and what was being experienced uh, what was he hearing what was he seeing what was he smelling um yeah we'll just have to see how this one plays out i, I don't I'm trying to find something, honestly, to be to to look at and say, all right, here is here is something definitive. Here is something that went wrong. Here is something that should have been done another way. But without knowing all of the the pertinent information, it's hard to do. I've had some. I've seen some some you know other law enforcement types say you know one thing or say another thing. But uh, again, I think it's I think it's unfair to say this is what should have happened unless you were standing there. It's not as cut and dry as some of the other stuff that we've looked at in the past, but this is certainly not not good. This is certainly not good. So give me your thoughts, man. Drop your comments down in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel so we can keep on doing this this uh again this is this is heartbreaking for the family and and for the officer so here we go you guys be good or be good at it